Coach Howard, talk about Clemson and how are they different with Lawrence as the quarterback, um, what what he possesses, and then maybe what, you know, because fans obviously here remember Bryant from last year. What is yeah. Lawrence? Well, he's outstanding freshman quarterback. I mean, uh, he's got a great pocket presence. He's got all the throws, seems to be, uh, you know, very composed. Good athlete. He can run when he needs to run. They want him to run, he can run. So, um, yeah, he, he looks he looks real good. And again, I think he gives them a passing game that maybe uh, is a little bit uh, different. But uh, obviously, they've been getting better and better with him. So he's, he's a good player. What about their running attack as well, the back and, the, and then the line? Back is just outstanding. All their backs run hard. Um, they've got a veteran offensive line. So, you know, I think their goal is to stay balanced. And statistically, they're, they're very balanced. So. You've got your hands full with them on, on defense. What do you do to, to get your guys confident that they can slow them down inside there? We just got to prepare well. You know, we've got to practice uh, with energy every day and uh, keep keep pushing on improving, getting better, and schematically be sound. Um, and then guys, uh, again, they've got to focus on getting better each and each and every week. Um, they know Clemson's an awfully good team and. Good players, good coaches. Um, you know, they they demand our best. We talk so much about their quarterback and their running backs. Is there an area of their offense that's maybe not talked about as much that you think is really powerful? Uh, I I wouldn't know that. You know, I've I've been kind of reading more specific to um, their games and and then concentrate on their schematics. But uh, obviously. Lines usually, you know, kind of left out. And they run the ball really, really well, and you know, the skilled players have been productive. So I'm sure they get a lot of talk. But I really, I don't really don't know how to answer that. To give up 56 points on Saturday, how, how do you get your guys to, to move on from that? Too? Just concentrate on getting better. You know, you, we're on a journey. The journey's a tough journey. Got to stay tough. Got to stay focused on improvement. Did you think it would come faster? When you started at the beginning of the season, um, I'm not sure. I hope that would, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we've been pretty steady, and I think our, you know, our our word to them uh, to stay the course and stay focused on again getting better and developing and fighting fighting through the process. What have you seen? From, what have you seen from John as a as a leader without? He's done a great job. He's done a great job. You mentioned their skill players. Uh, T. Higgins seems to be in the box score every week with big numbers. What, what have you seen from him, and, and how much of a challenge and does he give the secondary? He's a great challenge. You can see, you know, like you said, you look at him statistically and what he's accomplished. And um, they're good. Their wide receivers are all good. I mean, they're all productive, and uh, they all a little bit, a little bit different, but. Uh, all very productive. You said you don't like to look back, but when you look at the season right now, you guys were playing really well. What what do you think stunted that improvement last you know last week coming off of the of, of the bye week and that you didn't get better or you didn't do what you expected? You know, I don't I don't really uh, know the answer. I think I I feel a little bit of um, you know we've kind of in the last five six weeks looked at totally different offenses, and that's part of our growth and part of our uh, football intelligence uh, um, learning that uh, we're doing and going through. Um, but these guys made me proud. I, I don't have any, any regrets. They, uh, they've stayed pretty consistent in their approach. Um, they've stuck together and supported one another. They're excellent on the sideline, even when, when times are tough. But, um, you know, it's, it's again, it's a, it's a process. And these kinds of times, you get to find out a little bit about everybody. And, again, I'm, I'm proud of the way they, you know, continue to work. When you say excellent on the sideline, what have you seen from them? When you say the guys have been excellent on the sideline, what have you seen from them? Well, they've stayed season? focused even, even, you know, as we're struggling through series. They've stayed focused, mm -hmm. and there's not been any, any kind of uh, – words to one another that would represent any kind of dissension of any kind. They really, they've been real good. 
I'm, like I said, I'm real proud of him in respects to that. You were, obviously you weren't here last year, but Jair got hurt the first game of the season. They didn't seem to really have a hard time getting everything together, and then he came back late in the year, and they played really well late in the year. This year, Jonathan Bernard gets hurt the first game. Did, can, can one guy make that much difference? Do you think if you had him, maybe it could have been a steadying influence? Well, I mean, when you, whenever you lose your top production guy, and it was proven production, you know, um, that's a hit. You know, we're not we're not any different than anybody else. That's that's just the way it is. And um, I don't know what it would have what it would have looked like, but uh, I was counting on him getting 15, 16 sacks <laughs> <laughs> this year. But uh, yeah, I mean, again, he had a proven track record of productive players, so it uh, it affects. But that's that's the nature of our game. You know, you move on and. The expectation is somebody uh, steps in there and you gain consistency and dependability to, through players.